How do? It's day 24 on the advent calendar. It's the last day. Finally, you'll all be pleased to know. So, let's go in. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's got a little hat on it. <laughs> so, there you have it. Bad Santa Christmas special with a little hat on the top. There we go. There's all the... Oops, I can't see the ABV on that. Uh, no, I can't, I can't see the ABV on the bottle. Um, so there you go. Santa goes gypsy brewing. Right, I'll get that in the fridge for later. On to the next one. Oh, dude. Time for another beer review. It's day 24 on the advent calendar and it is Christmas Eve. You will probably be pleased to see the back of this advent calendar. Um, it's taken up a lot of space in my house, so uh, it can go now. There you go. So, um, so this is Bad Santa Christmas Special. It's from Privet Browery oh, Schnitzel Barmer. Uh, it's 6.2%. I couldn't see it originally on the bottle, but it's there on the back, down the bottom, somewhere around here. Um Came with a lovely little hat. There we go. So I actually haven't seen the uh, the crown. And um, we'll get this out. Oh, I'm just laughing at the crown actually, because um, the crown says um, BS, and that is pre pretty much what um, what my what I am. I'm full of when I'm talking on these videos. So there you go. A load of BS on this channel. So um, yes, we'll get it out and we'll see what we get. Um, I'm pleased that it's a bock. I'm pleased it's. Uh, to break up from the straight up lagers. So um, thank you for those that have stuck with it from day one. Um, yeah, um, will I do it again next year? I don't know, but it's just, um, I, I've enjoyed doing it. Um, I like the fact that, you know, you can't decide what you're gonna review that day. Um, that's, that is quite a good aspect of doing an advent calendar, but it does put a lot of pressure on you to, to literally, to get your reviews out and, um, it's just, it's a bit of, it's a bit of a strain in that sense, but um, I've enjoyed doing it. I've enjoyed doing it. So that is a, I'm going to say a Coca Cola brown. It's got like a, a light hue. There's a yellow light at the bottom. Uh, I can see steady bubbles going up. Uh, it looks a little bit syrupy in the glass. Um, got an off white head. Get the nose. Lots of caramel. Toffee notes. Pretty much dominating. Right, slightly subtle, subtle metallic on the nose, but um, hopefully we don't get that in a taste. Right, cheers everybody. Merry Christmas. It's pleasant, it's pleasant. It's a little bit thin, but the caramel multi notes are there in abundance. They linger right through the into the aftertaste from start to finish. As soon as the beer enters the mouth, you're getting hit with this caramel flavour. It's pleasant. It's not an earth shattering beer. It's not going to blow your socks off, but it's pleasant. And like I, like I said um, when I did my Hefeweizen one, it's just it's a welcome change from the lagers. So. Um, it's a, it's a nice way to end the advent calendar, having a, a Christmas special. Um, props for the uh, the little hat on it. I've, 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 um, I've called them at times when I've done this um, advent calendar um, saying that I, f I thought it was badly curated at times where um, some of the bottles weren't really fitting. But and the Canadian beer that's in there baffles me why it was in there. On the whole, on reflection, um, I think it was a it's it's a it was a run of the mill solid advent calendar. Nothing has made me go drain poor. Every beer that was when the video was finished, every beer was drank. Every every beer was completed in that sense. Um, there was nothing that was horrible. There was a lot that were better than others. Um, the best beer in the advent calendar was the Forest Lager. And closely followed by the first Weizenbock that I had, I think it was called Rupertus. 
So they were my two standouts. The I, the red IPA was up there as well, but probably would come in third if I was if I was ranking them. Would I do it again? I'll 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 think about what I'm going to do next year. We'll we'll do something. We'll do something. I've got a year to think about it. So that just leaves me to wish you all a very merry Christmas and a happy New Year. I hope. You get to try some amazing beers over this festive period. If you're working, um, thank you for whatever you're doing. It's it's an amazing it's amazing that you're still carrying on through this period. And um, for those that um, it's a hard time of the year, I hope you can find some joy, um, and I hope it's as bearable as it can be um, for for everyone else. Eat, drink, be merry. Um, yeah. Um, We'll get a video out on Boxing Day. There'll be no content for Christmas Day. Um, but it's just because I'll be uh, trying to make the most of a day tomorrow. So um, that is Bad Santa Christmas Special. So I'll add that to my German playlist. I'll add that to my Advent Calendar playlist. So thank you for the whole year. What you've, Everyone's been amazing. You know, um, I've got such a little channel, but I've got such... Um, amazing people that watch my videos um, so thank you to everybody that's liked my videos, subscribed commented whether it's been good or bad um, thank you for all the friends that I've made through doing this um, I've, I've made some met, met some amazing people in the UK, I've made some amazing mates in the UK, I'm making mates all around the world, um, it's, it's fantastic so um, long may this continue, um, you won't be see you will be seeing a lot of my face over the next few months and years hopefully so that is again bad santa christmas special thank you for watching and ho 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 on to the next one